Hey guys, welcome to Vegan Taste Test. Today we're going to be checking out two different bean and rice burritos from different companies. First off, we got the 365 brand from Whole Foods. I love these. I've already tried these. It's probably going to be the winner. I'm just going to say that. Then we got Amy's brand, non-dairy bean and rice burritos. Um, I checked out the back. It seems like the Whole Foods burrito is a bit healthier, with less calories, less sodium. Both burritos are the same size, six ounces. Whole Foods brand is called 365. It has 260 calories per serving. One burrito is one serving, so you're good there. Uh, total fat is seven grams. Saturated fat, one gram. Trans fat, zero grams, that's good. It says it's vegan right there. Also says it on the front. All right, there's our finished product. Let's cut this sucker open. They're pretty soft. You can cut them with a fork. I must say, do not cook these in the oven. The time it gives you on the package does not get them cooked well enough. They're like an icicle in the middle. In the microwave, follow the instructions and you get this delicious burrito. I'm going in, gonna take a bite. Look at that. Mmm. Very beany, very ricey. The tortilla is wonderful. It's very juicy on the inside. They're good by themselves, but I'd highly recommend Taco Bell mild sauce. Or you can get hotter if you want, but but this stuff's really good. Right on. Also, I like to put a little hot sauce on it. My favorite right now is Gringo Bandito. All right, guys, that's the Whole Foods Bean and Rice Burrito, 365 brand. I give it an 8 out of 10. These things are delicious. Uh, you can find them uh, pretty much in any Whole Foods in the freezer section. They're like $1.39. I bought a whole box the other day. I love these things. So now we're going to focus on the Amy's Burrito. I've got the wrapper here. The burrito's already in the microwave. Anyway, it says plant-based. It does not say vegan on the front like the 365 one does. And uh, let's see here. Uh, 310 calories, 9 grams of fat, uh, 600 milligrams of sodium. Yeah, this, one, this one's got a little bit different uh, ingredients than the other one. All right, so this is the Amy's Burrito. Uh, it's, I can already tell it's a little bit stiffer than the Whole Foods Burrito, uh, tortilla-wise. If you kind of poke it, it, it feels like it's got kind of a tougher consistency to it. The edges are crispy. Let's cut into this. Cuts pretty easily. But yeah, you can definitely tell it's a different kind of tortilla. All right, so uh, check it out. It actually looks pretty much the same in the middle. So uh, that's cool. It's way more, the consistency is just way more. Like you could pick this up and eat it like this and it wouldn't fall apart. The Whole Foods one might. It's a little, a little wetter. Actually, I'll just take a bite off of this. It's really hot. Uh, the microwave instructions uh, represented it well. It, it's very cooked. All right, I'm gonna take a bite. Okay. I have immediately identified what this is. I grew up in the 80s. And we would have a burrito day in the cafeteria and this is a 80s grade school burrito taste, <laughs> like full on. I don't think we had rice in those burritos, so you get the rice, but man, this tastes exactly like childhood, which is crazy, which which I don't mind. This is, this is actually pretty good. I'm gonna take another bite. I forgot to mention that Amy's one is double the price of the uh, Whole Foods one, but man, that's pretty good. Um, 
I'd even say I could eat this whole thing without any sauce, but let's put some sauce on it. My dogs want some. You can hear them. This is the Taco Bell sauce, mild sauce. I'm going to put a little bit of my favorite hot sauce, which I need to pick up some more of. Gringo Bandito. I don't know if you guys have heard of The Offspring, but it's the lead singer of The Offspring's hot sauce, and it's really good. Give this a bite with the sauce. I got more tortilla than beans that time. Let me, let me try to get to some, some guts. Here we go. Guys, this is tough. This is a solid burrito. Mm. I'm gonna give this also an eight out of 10, even though these two burritos are quite different. Um, Man, this is really tasty. I'd highly recommend you get these Amy bean and rice burritos. And the Whole Food ones are great too. What a great time to be alive. You have a, a, a wide selection of vegan microwave burritos. Party. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe.